Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of MLSsoccer.com's Brazil Bound, presented by Castro GTX High Mileage. I'm Nick Fershaw in rainy Recife, Brazil, where the U.S. national team just clinched a berth in the knockout round of the 2014 World Cup. Second consecutive time, the U.S. is moving on out of the group stage. They advanced in 2010 with those late dramatics from Landon Donovan. No such moment here against Germany, a 1-0 loss in the group stage finale, but that didn't really matter because the U.S. got some help uh, from Portugal, who got a 2-1 win over Ghana. So, however you want to make it, the U.S. is moving on. They get second in the group. They'll face the winner of Group H, which as of this filming can either be Belgium or Algeria, two teams that provide very different challenges for the U.S. national team. Jurgen Klinsmann saying after the game that it actually gets a little bit easier from here on out because the U.S. only has to focus on one opponent. Remember, in the group stage, they were focusing on different elements in Manaus, out here in Recife, Germany, Ghana, Portugal. Now it's one and done for the U.S. as they move on. That game will be July 1st, still the opponent yet to be determined, but we're off to Salvador, a market the U.S. has not played in while they've been down in here Brazil. So some new sites for the team, but the same familiar result, the U.S moving out of the group stage into the knockout round. Stay tuned to MLSsoccer.com for complete coverage of the U.S. national team at the World Cup. It's Brazil Bound, presented by Castrol GTX. High mileage on location in Brazil.